When students of my Modbus TCP Udemy course email me concerning communication issues they are having, 90% of the time it's the same recurring issue. And it actually has to do more with the TCP IP side as opposed to the Modbus side in the whole Modbus TCP communication. So let me give you a brief example as an instance of this issue. All right, so this diagram shows a very simple Modbus TCP network. I have a PLC which is acting as a Modbus TCP server with this IP address, some network equipment, and then I have a laptop with Modbus TCP client software. This could be an OPC client, it could be HMI software, it could be troubleshooting software, something like that. Now usually this is what would happen. The student would uh, essentially ping the network address here of the PLC and get a successful ping there so they assume everything is fine then they would try to communicate with the Modbus TCP client software and they would get timeouts over and over again no communication at all now what we have to remember is that Modbus TCP applications use network port 502 by default and very frequently 502 is blocked by default in a lot of network situations so what i tell them to do is first of all one check the firewall and antivirus settings on their computer and nine times out of ten that is what is causing the issue the settings on the firewall especially automatically by default block 502 and if 502 is blocked then a ping would take place because the ping does not use network port 502 but Modbus TCP communication would not. If the firewall settings are fine I then ask them to check with the IT department to see if the network port 502 is blocked in any network equipment. That is network equipment where Modbus TCP packets have to traverse. And usually when they check these two they'll find that 502 is blocked in one of these instances or both and once it's unblocked Modbus TCP communication takes place just fine. So that's the number one Modbus TCP issue I get emails about.